Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. We won butts up. Tied the triathlon. It's great. Congratulations. Why weren't you there? Why wasn't I there? Because no one told me about it, that's why. In, in case you haven't noticed, people around here don't know I exist. That's not true. Yeah, it is. Even you do it. When I tried to volunteer for the tug of war, you acted like I wasn't there. I thought roommates were supposed to look out for each other. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. It doesn't matter. The truth is, I'm not really one of you. I'm just the dumb hearing girl who no one wants to slow down enough to talk to. <laughs> Hang on, are you mad at me? Are you kidding? Hold on. Talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. I read your article. Then why are you acting like this? I defended you. You basically said Mingo's right to free speech trumps my need to have a safe space on campus. Come on, college isn't supposed to be a safe space. The whole reason we're here is to be challenged intellectually. I'm not talking about intellectual safety, Daphne. For you, this is all just some fun academic debate. But I'm talking about my emotional safety. What do you mean? Everywhere I go on campus, I have to be on guard. I have to put on this, like this armor to protect me from stuff you don't see. Like what? Like when I woke up to find a little tiny drawing of the Confederate flag on my door. Like, when a frat guy told us their party was for hot girls only, but they really met white girls. Like when my geology professor made a joke about savages and looked right at me. Oh my God. Or like the other night, when I got home and my RA was making fun of black people. I was... The dorm is my home, it's where I sleep, it's the place I'm supposed to be able to take off that armor. But you're moving out because one guy wore something that upset you? No. I'm moving out because that guy was my RA. The person who's supposed to protect me. And there's nothing I can do about it. I'm tired of not having a voice. And I can't live in a place that doesn't even ask black kids how they feel when there's a race issue on the table. I had no idea. Well, now you do. You ratted me out to Dean Peterson? No, I spoke to Professor Marullo. Who told Dean Peterson who called my dad. Now he's freaking out. He threatened to pull me from school if I continue with the hunger strike. I, was, I am so sorry. That was not my intention. I was trying to help, I swear. I didn't ask for your help. Stop trying to be the great white hope, okay? I can handle this. Look, thanks for coming, but I'm okay. We have pho and chicken noodle, clam chowder. No. Iris, please, this is serious. I'm not eating until the kids who put out the cotton balls are expelled. Okay, but you heard what the doctor said. Low blood pressure, ketoacidosis. These are things that can kill you. She's right. There's no world in which losing your life is a win for the cause. Say I eat, then what? Nothing changes. I need to be as loud as possible. And this is the only way I know how. Until they're expelled, I'm not eating. Uh -huh. Us! We finally got their attention, and now yeah. we're gonna Yeah, yeah, it works for want. us. Sure. You understand? Thank you. Because of the people in this room. We did it! That's why. Keyshawn, everyone, please, can I get your attention? That was the president of the university. He expelled the guys who put out the cotton balls. And there's more. He 
wants to meet with us tomorrow to address the rest of our demands. Yes! yes. We gotta stand up. Stand up for something. You did it. We gotta stand up. We did it. Stand up for something. <laughs> and I am taking everyone to dinner. Everyone? Everyone. <laughs> My brother. My brother. We gotta stand up.